So we've just come down from 4.1 to 4.0. It's almost, almost like a little secret area down here. We've got a very special guest. I'd like to welcome and enjoy you to, I'd like you to introduce yourself and what you do here. I think an expert and when it comes to Ambienta, you're it, aren't you? Okay. My name is Nicolette Naumann. Um, I'm in a nutshell the boss of Ambienta. I do this job for more than 30 years now. And Ambiente is the biggest consumer good show in the world with 4,500 exhibitors. Do you want to go for a bit of a walk through this area we've selected to meet you? And maybe please feel free to say a few words of what we're seeing here in 4.0 in the corner in round A21, A13. Um, 4.0 is a hall where you basically find the very modern, the ever, very avant-garde um, offer of the, for the table. Glasses, cutlery. Um, plates, but also um, other nice items, but everything connected to fine dining, to drinking. Um, why we, why I think Hall for Zero is a very important hall at the very moment is that this would be already the first example of a new trend we see called Wabi Sabi. Actually, Wabi Sabi is not a new word. It is a traditional Japanese word that basically means um, the perfection in the imperfection. And it has very deep um, philosophical roots even in Zen Buddhism. However, if it comes to product design, I think what it basically means is that you have a lot of products that look like handmade, handcrafted. This is industrial production. However, neither of the plate is completely round. Um, the, the surface looks spotted, different. So 10 years ago, people would have the feeling, but something is wrong with this product. <laughs> this is a production mistake. But now it is done on purpose uh, because it gives this warm handicraft feeling. It gives off a very authentic feeling. And in a way, Wabi Sabi is the new hooker. What stays from hooker is the um, liking of detail, the liking of handicraft impression the authenticity of products, but at the same time, the mood gets darker. Um, it is still wood, it is still iron, it's still felt, it's still ceramics, but the colors get decisively darker. And I would like to show you a little bit more of these Wabi Sabi products, because at first, if you are the head of the biggest consumer good world in, uh, fair in the world, and you say, oh, Imperfection is the new trend. I can see the question marks in uh, the face of people, but I think it makes sense if I actually show you products. For example, this product, and this is one of the very trendy companies at the moment. At first, it doesn't even look like finished handicraft, let alone an industrial product. However, it is. It has a lot of authenticity, and one thing is it will age well. So, and you can, as it already looks a little bit crooked, you can mix and match it. But Wabi Sabi actually also comes in a more elegant, cleaner way. It comes in white um, biscuit porcelain, which is actually a very high-end material in wine glasses. And again, people would say, you have one of these glasses on the table. They say, why did you buy something that is a leftover of production. No, it is not. It is actually meant to be this way. And it will give the table a very lively image. It will make look things a little bit robust sometimes. It's a little bit in general, maybe we can see over here, a very manly uh, trend. Whereas Hücke, with all the light colors, Sort of make some room so we can get in here. It's, it's all live. Sorry, thank you. Sorry. Please come over here um, so we can so actually see. Whereas Hücke was, in a way, a feminine trend because it was very light. The Wabi Sabi trend with the dark colors, um, iron cutlery, has a little bit of a manly feeling to it, which doesn't mean that in one, one trend was targeted to women and the other to men. It just means that the mood is shifting a little bit. And when you spoke about materials before, the idea of truth to materials, so you talk about felt, you talk about the stone, you talk about things looking like the real material. Is that, is that a big factor here as well, um, in, your, in your opinion? That's what I mean by authenticity. People want to see um, the material, the a little bit industrial, a little bit barn style. It connects to trend magazines like Kinfolk or Week Enter. It connects to um, the tiny house movement. 
It connects to the off-the-grid barns in the wood movement, like cabin porn would be a very nice uh, page to look up for this. So this is a general feeling. It's not just the product. It is a general feeling it connects to. In a way, of course, this is completely make up because those people with off the grid barns don't live there 12 months a year. Those people with a tiny house don't live there 12 months a year. It is a very urban trend, despite the fact it looks rustic. Very, very good observations. When, and I think, I think um, the observation of Wabasabi, we maybe know the porcelain cup with got the gold yeah. joinery and stuff. This is almost like the evolution of that, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Of course, one of the good things of globalization and modern times is that trends don't get dictates anymore. Those people who still want their um, all over flowers on their porcelain, who want their nice fine bone china, will still find it. This might be um, a very niche, avant garde niche market. However, it is the one thing you will see in the show that is completely new. And I think we saw that yesterday in the trends area. I really appreciate your time. My, my, my last thought would be, I think it's also the combination of elements. In the trends area, we see the combination. Of, there's one of these pots next to very modern, minimalist, almost Scandinavian designs. And those contrasts is really what makes it interesting this year, the ambienta. This is what I say. There is no dictate of trends anymore. Yeah. People can actually do what they want. And if you ask people who are very much into interior design, not only as a profession, but specifically consumers who care about the way they live, the word you will hear most is eclectic. People want to mix and they want to have it their own way in the end of the day. Well, I will close on the idea of an eclectic mix. Thank you very much for your time. I'm going to go a bit searching for more new, new little, uh, little things to find and okay. have a great afternoon. So there we have it. Really professional expert insights from uh, someone who's more ambienta than, than the ambienta itself and come down to 4.0 and uh, check it out. So have a great afternoon. See ya.